So I'm going to show you a new feature of the latest version of the WiseNet device manager. And this is designed for uh, people who are uh, setting up big systems, you're staging systems, you're either uh, in the shop ahead of time or you're in the field um, and you've got multiple crews, multiple people working on things and you want to make your life easier. So uh, you'll see here I, I have a camera and you'll see on the box of all of our new cameras we actually have uh, a QR code right over here uh, and that QR code is printed there uh, it has some useful information embedded in that QR code. If you look on the bottom of the camera, you'll also see that same QR code is printed there. So you can scan the boxes, you can scan the camera itself. If you have one of our uh, modular cameras, you'll see that the QR codes on the bottom of the camera there and there's also an extra copy of that sticker with the QR code here and that allows you to put that sticker onto uh, a drawing a floor plan a blueprint a spreadsheet so the idea is you're staging your camera so I've got a bunch of cameras set up on my table here um, and I am going to uh, enroll these cameras assign their uh, basic components, basic configuration uh, quickly and easily in Device Manager. In Device Manager, if I normally just go and hit search and find all of my cameras, uh, what would happen is it'll find all my cameras and uh, you know it's hard to tell which ones are which. I have to assign the password, the IP address. I have to go through all the normal steps. So I'm going to show you a new feature here where we can use this QR code. So we have a new app called the WiseNet QR app. I've already installed that from my app store. And so it shows you a list of any devices that we've scanned. And so we can click on the QR button and we have a camera and we can then scan the QR code on the box. And it shows you at the bottom of the screen uh, what you scan, the basic information, the QR code on each of your cameras. Now, I made a little cheat sheet here just so I don't have to run around uh, scanning each one of my boxes. And so I, I just copied those QR codes. So I'm just going to cheat and do it a little bit quicker. But I'm going to scan each one of my barcodes. And it shows us a success. If I scan the same one twice, it notices it's a duplicate. And it's really quick and easy. And if you're in the field, you know, you're going from box to box to box. It takes a few, few seconds um, and it, you're good to go. And you can see now I have a list of nine devices. It shows me the model number, the MAC address, and the serial number. You can click the button. I, I'm sorry, I have 10 devices here in my list. I scanned one more, the, the L series camera. You can hit the refresh button to uh, start over and clear your list if you messed up. Um, and then when you're all done, there's an export button here so you click export and then you choose how you want to share it so i can send it by email or whatever and it's just attaching a csv file a comma separated values uh, very simple text file and we can give this a name whatever building two and away that email goes so that's the first part is using the app there Okay, so we have that CSV file that I emailed to myself. I downloaded it, I saved it. I can give it a new name if you want to call it, you know, building one or building two, whatever it might be. So we're going to open up that file. We can either open it up in Notepad or Excel. Excel knows how to view it nicely. If you were viewing it in Notepad, it's not as nice, but you have commas separating each section there. So I'm going to use Excel and you'll see we have these different fields, these different columns. There is an option in Device Manager to save a template of this file. So if you want to create your own without using the app, uh, without using the QR code, you certainly can. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, choose and the cameras are put in order of uh, the order that I scanned those barcodes. 
actually I believe it's uh, they're, they're put into reverse order so the first one I scanned is here at the bottom and then I scan this and I move up the list so uh, I'm gonna put in what password these cameras are brand new out of the box so what password do I want to assign to them you know whatever it might be and I'll just copy and paste that here uh, and then what IP address I'm just gonna do a very simple IP scheme here I'm gonna use Excel autofill it makes my job easy obviously if you have a more complex system and you want to assign specific IPs and different ranges you can certainly do all of that as needed uh, my default gateway uh, my subnet mask my DNS 1 DNS 2 my HTTP port is port 80 HTTPS 443 RTSP is 554 so I put in my basic info I'm then just going to uh, copy and paste that here um, and obviously I only have a few cameras here but the idea is if I had a hundred cameras or a thousand cameras I can get this done the way I want it when you're done you're gonna save this file it's very important to save this as a CSV some versions of Excel will ask you, hey, do you want to save this as a um, Excel file or whatnot? Um, you can always, again, open it up in Notepad and make sure it looks correct. It should be, again, a comma separated file there. Once we've done that, we're going to go back into WiseNet Device Manager. So we have a new menu option under Add Device for WiseNet QR Add Device. We load in our CSV file. There's also an option to save a sample CSV. There's my saved file. And it's gonna go and validate that those cameras are being found on the network. So it shows you the old IP address, the default 192.168.1.100. They're all duplicate. And it shows what their new IP address and all the new information is. So when everything looks good, uh, we hit the try add device. If cameras show up not found, that means that you might have some cameras that you've put in your file, you scan the QR code, but they're not on your network. And it's gonna go through each camera, it's gonna set their password, set their IP address, and it's gonna go one by one and go through each one. Uh, it takes a few minutes. If you have a large system with hundreds, thousands of cameras, you wanna go get lunch, come back, uh, cause it'll take a little bit. But you'll see here it's going through one by one uh, and only taking a few seconds for each camera. You might see one shows timeout for a couple seconds, just give it some time and you'll see that should go away and change to success. It's just waiting, waiting to get a response back from the camera as it changes the password and changes the IP address. And you can see when they're done, they light up in green and there's a check mark to the left. Again, sometimes it takes a few seconds for it to finish everything as the camera does a little reboot and all of that. Once it shows complete, we can hit close. They will then show up in my device manager just like normal, it added them in. But again, what that did is it added in only the devices I specifically wanted for my QR code. It changed their IP address, it assigned the new password, and on the left-hand side, it created a new site with today's date and the word QR. So if I had other cameras on my network and I hit search, they would be under new site. So I can keep them separate so uh, I don't get confused with what they are. Or as I add in different groups of cameras based on multiple QR code scans, uh, they will show up as individual sites. So then best practices uh, after you do that, like normal, is we want to go and save my project. That way I have my listing of each one of my cameras uh, based on that site, the QR code that I scanned. So uh, project number one, that's an XML file. I can save a password if I want. Then it's often recommended to go and do, after I configure these devices and, and program them, I can do a configuration backup 
that backup contains things like the passwords and configuration. And then we can also generate a report. Uh, obviously, these cameras have not been installed. They haven't been hung. So I haven't, I don't have the, the field of view, so I don't need that snapshot. But as the cameras get installed, we can then go and generate a report as best practice there. Uh, and that shows how to use the new QR code feature with the companion WiseNet QR mobile app. To learn more about this and other exciting Hanwha products, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us at hanwhasecurity.com.